what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so this topic has been pretty much talked about on social media for uh, a few weeks now um actually i've been seeing this uh on instagram and twitter and uh some people have asked me my opinion on this particular situation roman reigns actually winning at wrestlemania this year and passing a thousand days as the champion people are are you know some people are uh, are in the belief that that may happen that cody may not win at this year's wrestlemania and they're gonna have roman hold the titles to you know eclipse a thousand days and could i see wwe doing that yes of course we're talking about wwe here they love to tout their their stats or whatnot and pad stats and that would be a crazy thing to see in the modern day era of wrestling uh, a a champion a person holding the titles for over a thousand days I, I can see wwe doing that but does it make sense for wwe to do that and i'm thinking more so of the future in my opinion i have i'm kind of mixed on it i wouldn't mind seeing roman get to that that crazy milestone but i also know i don't think it would be in the betterment for for the company storyline wise and and talent wise only because there's nobody else for roman to face if there were still some uh potential opponents for roman to face going forward i would be okay with that I, I wouldn't i really wouldn't trip if he did you know hold the the you know the championships all the way to you know past a thousand days but there isn't anybody else cody is literally the last person that makes sense for roman to lose to i know a lot of us wanted sammy to be the guy but sammy wasn't going to be the guy i know there's people that wanted kevin owens people wanted edge i remember people wanted uh when daniel bryan was there they wanted daniel bryan to be the guy hell there was people that wanted seth rollins and still to this day want seth rollins to be the guy to dethrone roman but i hate to say it there's nobody else he's beaten everybody roman has been feasting on on the talent <laughs> in wwe for the past few years there is no one left. Now, maybe you can say, oh, well, what about Bray Wyatt? I just don't see Bray Wyatt beating Roman Reigns after a thousand days. I don't. I don't. I'm being honest with you. I just, I don't. And yes, it's it started with Bray those years ago, but I don't think it's going to end with Bray. Some say, what about Jay? It's not going to be Jay. It's not. And some of these options you know you you know you would think maybe there's a possibility but just the way his title reign has been built as this unstoppable force it just wouldn't make sense for it to end by someone that you know hasn't really been pushed in the spotlight to even beat roman reigns you know some people were at one point when Karrion cross came back to wwe thought maybe it could be him and he's even sent the message to roman but that kind of you know that in my opinion i think that derailed that push was somewhat you know derailed and i can't see Karrion cross being the person either and another reason why I, i'm not so sure if that's the best move to do to wait till after wrestlemania for him to drop the titles is well to be honest with you wrestlemania should be the only time he's dropping the titles his title reign has become so much bigger than any other pay-per-view they could ever possibly put on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter what stadium they fill, fill up. Him losing the titles at WrestleMania makes the most sense. It's a WrestleMania moment. Him losing the titles at a main event in a WrestleMania makes sense. At some point, if you could have passed it off at, at a SummerSlam. Maybe. But even now, it, it, it fits better. The story and everything, it would just it would be a better moment for whoever was the superstar to beat him at WrestleMania. I think it just makes sense there. That's how big his title reign is. And once again, there's nobody else except Cody. 
And I'm all for Cody getting the job done. You don't bring Cody back to only have him pretty much still lose to Roman. You don't. Because honestly, I mean, he took the 30 spot in the Royal Rumble. He took the 30 spot in the Royal Rumble. He came back from a, a, a gruesome injury. I, I think it's, you know, and he came back to the company. You know, I don't think he comes back to WWE to not become the champ. Like, it, I just, I can't see that. I can't see that. And I'm all for, you know, sometimes people putting the putting themselves to the side for the betterment of the storyline in the in the company itself. But at the same time, what's the point of coming back if you're just gonna lose to Roman Reigns anyway? You know what I'm saying? What's the point? And I wouldn't want to see a rematch again. Not if Roman is still the champ, because once again, him dropping the title only makes sense at WrestleMania. Him dropping the title out of Money in the Bank, yeah, it's going to be overseas in the UK, and I'm sure that crowd will go crazy, but it's still not WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Me, personally, I think, yes, the idea of Roman having the title for over a thousand days does sound cool on paper, but when it, when it all boils down and you're trying to build up future feuds going into the remainder of 2023... I think it, it it's best if Roman does lose at WrestleMania and you can really extend some future storylines with now Roman not having the championship. He's not the quote unquote tribal chief anymore. What's going to happen? And once again, I don't think his reign can really sustain, uh, you know, well, I don't think it can really be sustainable for a whole nother year. If we're going with the notion that, you know, Roman only loses, potentially could lose this at WrestleMania, I don't think, you know, we can wait a whole nother year for next year's WrestleMania. It's either this year's WrestleMania or nothing. I, I you know, I, it, it, in my opinion, I think that's just the best way for him to drop the title. And then maybe we can get some different feuds, obviously with Cody, some fresher feuds, and hopefully we can get monday night raw having a main championship back on its show and split the the head titles so that way both shows can have their uh you know a head champion possibly so i don't know man i i just don't see it happening but it's a slim chance that it could and i'm not sure if i would be in you know in agreement with it only because of i mean i don't know how long we can sit up here and and you know <laughs> watch the titles not really be defended as much only because he's beaten everyone so comment down below let me know do you guys feel that roman reigns will hold the championship to over a thousand days and do you think that's the smart idea or do you feel like he should drop it at uh, this year's wrestlemania and they move forward with cody rhodes being the new champion let me know down below. I really want to get y'all thoughts and, and, and opinions on this particular so, uh, subject. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. And your in the clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.